Hi, I'm Mel from Two Sleepy Hits, and today I'll be showing you how to create this inflate 3D text design in Adobe Illustrator. Alright, let's go! Alright, for this, let's create the text. We'll write good stuff, and then we'll center it to the center of the artboard. Duplicate it. Change the bottom one to pink, and then we select all of it. Go to Object, Blend, Make, and then we go to Object again, Blend, Make, oh no, uh, Blend Options and change the steps so increase the steps to maybe 4 or 5 so you can see the different gradient of colors then we go to 3D and material and extrude them so this is actually the new 3D to Adobe Illustrator update so for this sometimes it takes a while to load Okay, so once you extrude the text, you can change the rotation to be isometric top. So you have this view, or how do you which view you want to change it to? So you can play around the views, it's isometric right, isometric left, and also the bottom as well. So for now, we will just use isometric right, and then we increase the depth of it, which is the thickness. For well, now, you can see it's very um, boxy, boxy design. We go to inflate so that we can have that rounded design that we want. Okay, so after it inflates, you can see how rounded it looks. You can increase the volume of it and then see how it changes the texture. Then we can go to material and increase the metallic so you can see the light shine on it and then reduce the roughness as well if you want. You can also increase the lighting intensity and rotation of the lighting which is where the light shines so that it creates different shadows and depth of the entire design. Also the intensity, you can also increase it if you want to. Let's go back to... I probably want to, I want to change the rotation of it. Maybe I would just shift it to isometric top and use the arrow to rotate it downwards so that it has a nicer view. So it's not like horizontally flat on top of it. So yeah, that's about it. You can also adjust however way you like it. So this for this um design, you can play with. The material, the lighting, the shadows, the roughness, the metallic um, numbers as well to see how good it looks. Change the intensity to show the shadow of the text, and the light. So take your time to play with it and see which suits you. increase the height you can see when we increase the height the shadow actually moves as well and then we decrease it becomes more obvious in a sense there's actually the height of the light so imagine like a torchlight shining on this thing and then you have to adjust how far or how near the torchlight is actually being shone on this design the softness of it will be how light how soft or hard the light is Rotation is also showing the shadow as well. So yeah, slowly play with settings and see which one suits you best. So now we're changing we change the background to a little gradient. 
so that it doesn't look like a flat yellow background so to do a gradient mesh and to create gradient mesh for the background I've talked about it before in the previous video so you can check that out and let's just select the points and changing the colors and shifting the points to create this um, flowy gradient texture doesn't it so this is how it looks like so this is how it looks like, let me know what you think about this design, comment in the comment section below, what do you think? Alright, that's all, thank you so much for watching, do follow us on Instagram, TikTok as well, and also visit our website and drop us a DM on the email if you need help with any creative services, such as branding, social media, or even product design. If you want to learn more about how to better your design skills, do like this video and also hit the like and subscribe button. Till next time, bye!